Okay, grand rising, grand rising. This is the Conscious Growing Gardener channel. And uh, as you can see, I'm in my uh, greenhouse, right? My prep, my prep room greenhouse. And uh, we haven't done a video in a while where we uploaded some videos. I got to transplant these. I can see that these are growing very, very steadily. So today I'll do some transplants. We'll come back and show you guys that a little later in time. But uh, we want to talk about, um, well, as you can see, we've got some more plants in here, right? As you can see, right? Some more beautiful ones in here. And uh, we'll talk about those later. We're going to bring the... Uh, we're actually going to bring the scientific one in on a, in on a video and have her talk about what's in here. Uh, the extra ones, these are the ones that she's ordered. We're supposed to be getting another one today. So when we get that, we're going to have, we're going to do another video about that. And uh, I got some things I need to do, but uh, I do want to have a small conversation with you guys this morning. I know people be watching this video sometimes in the afternoon or the evening. So when I say morning time, I'm only specifically saying that because I'm still in my PJs. Okay. I haven't fully woken up yet, and I just wanted to get up here and cut the lights on, cut the uh, cut the grow lights on, okay, and the UV ray lights on to try to get the day started for the plant life, okay. Um, sad to say that um, you know we always have all these movements, and uh, you know when we get started with the movement, we we want to we want to get involved, we want to we want to think that it's gonna do something for our community, so. Um, but then when you look, I look around and see that the same people that are involved are supposed to be involved in our, in our movement or supposed to be there for us as people are not there for us when things go down. So everybody knows it's no secret that, uh, little Dolph, I mean, excuse me, young Dolph was, um, uh, was shot and killed the other day. And, uh, the young man is 36 years old. I call him a young man because um, I'm a few years older than him, quite a, quite a few years, more than 10 years older than Young Dolph. Um, I had a, um, a, a opportunity to uh, to work with Young Dolph as a musician. And, um, uh, and of course, um, with that being said, you know, uh, it's not like I personally know the young man, like we hung out and kicked it or anything like that. But... Um, it's just, it's, it's really messed up for his family, you know, and for him as well as a young man. I, I know that he was in his hometown, um, you know, taking care of uh, his turkey drive and he was seeing the kids, you know, the ones, the young men and women that look up to him as a, as, as a rapper and as a, as a, as a young man entrepreneur uh, that he was. People don't know that young Dolph had a lot of things going on in his life and um, somebody uh, snatched his life down way too early. Um, also, I want you guys to know that what they'll do is they'll use this as a distraction for our community. Okay. Because while they're doing why why they did this and they, and they took in this young man's life and we're all talking about it on YouTube, um, Dr. Fauci and Bill Gates somehow have hooked, well, they always been hooked up, but there's a small bottle of smallpox. The vial has been, the va the vial. Of smallpox is a vial of smallpox, okay, that has been found missing uh, in Montgomery, and so now we're talking about uh, another, maybe possibly a smallpox uh, outbreak, right? I guess they, I guess they felt like, well, the COVID's not, you know, going along well enough. Let let's let's hit them with something else, you know what I'm saying? These people are twisted and evil. I keep telling you, these politicians and these elite people are not our friends. We tend to think that these people are, you know, are, you know, whatever, just rich and we want to be like them. And, you know, and, 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 and here's the thing, you know, we pick and choose who we like based upon who they tell us, you know what I'm saying? We don't have our own, we don't do our own research. So a few years ago, and I don't mean a friend of mine, a, a few years ago, there were rappers running around here with Donald Trump's name in every song that they had. You know what I'm saying? I'm living like Trump. Y'all don't know what it means, but you know what I'm saying? And then, you know, he was he was in the he he I believe that he was in the, the studio with G Unit. He was hanging out with different rappers. He opened up his uh doors to, uh uh with Pac and you know and with Mike Tyson, right? And then as soon as he becomes the president, now he's the most racist white dude in America, right? 
And so they, we, they, they, everybody runs to the polls. They say it, all the, all the, all of the uh, celebrities are saying it. They're all saying, they're all like, oh, these racists. They said it on Wild and Out. They said it on this show. They said it on that show. Don Cheeto saying, it. everybody's saying it. Everybody's running to the poll to put Joe Biden in. And Joe Biden is down with these guys that are spreading this bullshit in our communities, in our, in our, in our, in our homes. Um, they want to blame it on China. You know, they want to blame it on, on, you know, on, on, uh, on everybody else. But Dr. Fauci is constantly in this. If you're not paying attention to politics, Dr. Fauci is constantly being questioned by, uh, different senators, especially Paul Ryan. And he's busting his chops about him being involved in the Wuhan lab and them mixing up this, these, these ingredients to, and, 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 and not only that, uh, uh, they're they're doing this. Uh, they're doing these testings, and and he was, he, he never blamed Dr. Fauci for for the uh for the COVID nineteen. But what he said was is that he said you guys need to step down because you are uh helping this Wuhan lab, and this is what kind of got this stuff started with with our you know with this with this ability for people to uh pass on different um gain of functions to to, to pass on what they might say is, you know, some, some, some infectious diseases and he's refusing to, uh, uh, to, to, you know, to, to take his leave of absence. He's in fact, he's, he went on his own website and changed the definition of what, um, of what, uh, uh, the, 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 the particular, um, uh, gain of function is he's going to change the, the meaning of it. Cause he's a doctor. So he's going to change the meaning of it. So, and uh, it's a lot of drama going on, you guys. So sometimes what they'll do is um, when they when they realize that our community is starting to catch on to what's going on and that we might be a part of of, of some political uh, uh, stand stand up for for our America uh, with our with our with our other brothers and sisters of 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 non melanation, might I add, right? Then they'll hit us with a distraction, and they don't care who they take out. They don't care who they pay to take out. It's, it's, you know what I'm saying? Yes, it's a real true death of somebody who really lost their life, but they'll use our people as a distraction to distract us. That's how evil and twisted these people are. You know what I'm saying? I would never automatically assume that that's what they did. Like they called, they made the hit call or whatever, but they'll use it to the point where, and where to the point where we will, we'll get involved and they'll be like, yeah, that's good to happen because that'll distract them. And that's what we'll talk about. And that's not, that's, that does not mean that, 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 um, young Dolph does not deserve, uh, our love. His family doesn't deserve our, uh, our condolences. His friends and family don't deserve to be able to mourn his death and that it should be something that's kept from the, from the public. But these guys are constantly keeping things from us and then distracting us with our own um, personal things that we have going on in our community. And, I'm, and, I, and I, I wouldn't bet on the fact that they're that they're part of the distraction, but uh, they know what distracts us. They know what we're willing to be distracted over and how, you know, and how we can be distracted by you. They love one of the things that they love using is our celebrities or what they would call a celebrity to distract us from anything that they might be doing. So now there is a smallpox vial that is missing from the lab in Montgomery. And there are people saying that there's a, the vial is out here and they about to, you know, there's about to be some more um, issues with people passing away and, and get, you know, smallpox is a, is, is a, is a, is a, is a virus. Um, if not treated, you could pass away from it. as just as easily as anything else. And, um, once again, now it's it's a vial missing. Now, where why is there a why is there even a vial of smallpox? You know, they like I told you, these guys they always in something, doing something, and um, it's just it's just so you know I'm I have so many mixed emotions. You know what I'm saying? Uh, young man is gone. We're we're their, his family is mourning. His friends and family are mourning. Uh, I'm sure uh, we're still here. These people are still um, being criminals to us and doing things to us that, you know, that the normal person in the in the neighborhood, you know, you know how we get down. You know what I'm saying? You know, you know what, you know, yeah, we all know the, we all know the, 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 uh, the scenario in our communities, right? Don't start none. How we go? Won't be none. 
But these people are constantly starting things with our communities. They're, they're constantly trying to uh, push us to do things. We're the only ones that get a, 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 a song, vax that thing up. Nobody else gets one. You know, and then when they when it don't work for them the way they think it works, then here comes, you know, a, a, a new a, a new something. You know, what I'm saying I hear now here now all of a sudden, oh, the smallpox. These people won't stop with their treachery, with their uh, 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 disrespect for humanity. You know, what I'm saying these people are are, are definitely criminals, um, vile uh, criminals. They don't care who they destroy, whose life they kill. Uh, these, in my opinion, these people are murderers. They are murderers. They'll do anything to get their way. While we're over here trying to protect life, trying to uh, give life a healthy balance, you know what I'm saying? Trying to uh, uh, grow and eat a, a, a healthy, nutritionist uh, life, uh, of plants with, with vegetables and fruits that are organic and natural, these gentlemen, late and 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 I lose that word, ladies and both gentlemen, uh, loosely because these really these people really are just uh, uh pieces of shit um, that breathe, are pl plotting, planning, and to 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 destroy humanity. To kill humanity off, to get us sick, to to try to, to I mean, control us through the food shortages, control us through the through the uh, through the vaccines, control us through the jobs and the mandates, control us uh, by distracting us, even even by using our own our own uh, people, our own celebrities. They don't give a rat's ass about us at all, and we're just as some of us are just as stupid as enough to go along with it you know what i'm saying like like no matter what this guy did right even if he owes you fifty thousand dollars right or um, you know and i'm sure he didn't know nobody nobody no million dollars so i'm trying to be generous with the amount of money or if he slept with your daughter or your sister or whatever he did right these people our own people are just like jealous of each other and they'll do anything for money you know what i'm saying i want to know who did it and who paid you to do it because you just didn't do it just to do it you're trying to be the gang. You, you you're trying to be trying to get in a rap song. What you now you just took your life to a whole nother level. It's one thing to rap about. I got an eight k in a you know what I'm saying or say whatever you are gonna say. It's another thing to shoot that thing to shoot that thing off and actually kill somebody. You know what I'm saying? And people are just so evil twisted because this guy was he was in Memphis in his hometown when he was gunned down and he doesn't even live in Memphis. You know, uh, Young Dolph spends a lot of time uh, in Atlanta. And I know that he's in L.A. and New York sometimes as well, but he spends an awful lot of time in Atlanta. And so he was at home for this particular uh, uh, holiday. He was doing his turkey off, and, I'm, and I, I believe he had went to go to one of his old uh, elementary schools or junior high schools to visit. Um, uh, to visit, and he was uh, <clears throat> it's a famous cookie spot that he likes to go when he goes there. And I believe he was there to get some cookies, not only for himself but for the kids as well. And uh, Someone gunned him down, you know, and 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 I don't want to, I guess I don't want to take away from his his death by saying, oh, they're doing that to distract us. No, but I'm, but they, what they what they do what they will do if they didn't come up with the distraction themselves, they 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 know that we uh we love our people and that you know and we love we love to see our people do some of us a lot of us love our people and love uh to see our people be successful. So they'll use it as a distraction. They don't have to necessarily. Uh, be the ones to have cause the distraction, but once they got it in play, they're like, "Oh yeah, let's keep pushing it, keep pushing, it, keep pushing it. Let's keep talking about, it, let's keep talking about it." Yeah, that's more important. And as soon as, soon as they see us distracted, then they'll run off and 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 a, a vial will come missing from Montgomery with smallpox in it. Ladies and gentlemen of all ages, girls and boys. That might catch this video. We have got to stop allowing our government and the elites of this country to make the decisions for our lives. We have got to take the power out of their hand and tell them that it is we the people. It is us that makes this country great. And that you guys 
work for us, we the people, all of them. You can't be elite if there are no poor people. You can't be you can't be rich if everybody if there's no poor people. If everybody's rich, then nobody's rich. So there's only a few people that's going to be able to stand out. You stand on the you stand on the shoulders of other people, and you owe people a certain amount of respect and due time for helping you reach a certain plateau. Because without your without people, without your fans, without people that look up to you, without people that admire you, and without people that are poorer than you are, then your money don't mean a hill of beans. And because you got a lot of money, does not mean you should go around controlling other people's lives. You should be happy that you are one of the people who have it going on that you don't have to worry about how you're going to pay your bills or this. But instead, these folk got every bit of every dime in the fucking world. Excuse my language. YouTube's probably going whatever. They are, I, ain't, I ain't monetized anyway. Every dime in the world. And they, what they'll do is they will use whatever goes on in our community or create their own distraction in our community to be able to employ whatever uh, 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 tactic that they want upon us while we're being distracted. And it might be a, what we might have um, might be might be a serious distraction. Like there are things that we are going to be distracted about. You know, death is death of, of, of one of our young brothers is definitely a, a, a reason why we might be distracted. And they know this. So as soon as they see something going on in our community, even if they didn't cause the distraction, they'll use it for a distraction and run and go do something and plan whatever plans they got next. That's the next one in line. So now all of a sudden there's a there's a there's a smallpox. We might have a smallpox outbreak and watch this. Bill Gates. It's a video with Bill Gates talking. Not only is he, not only is there a video with Bill Gates talking about uh, uh, the outbreak of of a, of, a, of, a, of, a, of a virus, right? Then he also comes back and says there's going to be an outbreak of a um, of a of a smallpox breakout, right? And he said this. He has a it's a video on YouTube. You can go look it up. Look up Bill Gates smallpox vaccine, vaccines and watch him talk about the outbreak that's supposed to be coming. And now all of a sudden there's a vial missing. And because he's an elitist with money and all this stuff carrying on, right? Now I can go into, into my conspiracy theories about Bill Gates already being handled and a lot of these elite people already being handled. And this is just a movie that we're watching. Right? That the Trump administration has took most of these guys down. And now we're just going through the through the through the motions of of of, of Joe Biden and Kamala being president and vice president when these guys are really already gone and taken out and we're just going through the motions with them you know what i'm saying because these people are threatening to uh if they can't control uh america they'll destroy it and you can see that that's not too far-fetched because every time you look up it's another something trying to take out the people we the people we're gonna have to learn how to multitask we're gonna have to learn how to mourn while we fight We're going to have to mourn. I'm going to say it again. We have to mourn our loved ones, our our, our 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 friends, our family members. We're going to have to learn how to mourn mourn people that we that we look up to, and we're going to, have to still learn how to fight and stay focused. Life and death. You know, life and death. And um, again, I give my condolences to uh, to Young Dolph's family and to his uh, close network of people who truly had his back, to his community who loved him. another senseless brother you know and we 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 support these black Lives matters i even have a video up right now on my mad anointed uh music channel where me and my brother did a video uh, uh about hands up it's called the song is called hands up and we used uh some people in the video there's a footage of a black lives matter 
uh, uh, protests and stuff like that. And then these guys, as soon as there's uh, something going on with our community with black lives, you know, they, they up and out or they ain't got nothing to say or, you know, they're not they're not they're not supportive as much as you think they are. And like I said, though, this is what happens. When we have a movement and people like George Soros, people like Bill Gates, okay, and these crooked uh, 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 criminal criminality politicians, you know what I'm saying, get involved, and these and 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 the mainstream media uh, covering and, and and what they what they want and and ducking and 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 and, and uh, ducking and hiding certain uh, stories that they don't want us to know about. And then giving us a, a, a story um, in our community, right? Whether they whether they whether they push the narrative or set it up for, for, for it to be a story. I believe these people don't care about our lives at all. And they'll use that to distract us by taking one of our lives. And we'll focus on that while they planning and plotting to make millions of us sick. And this is not just for our community. See, this is what people think. People think that, oh, you know, you know, uh, you know, some people in the hood are so hood. They think, oh, they only after black people. They did smallpox. Uh, 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 the COVID-19, these, 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 uh, these infectious diseases don't have a name on them. They don't have a color scheme to them. See, they don't care who they hit with it, who gets it. They want every. They want. They want everybody they can get. Anybody they can get. Mourn and fight. We have to mourn, and we have to war. We have to be like I said. We have to be able to. Uh, Definitely, we're going to have to be able to multitask. We are going to have to be able to mourn and war at the same time. This is a war. These people are trying to destroy our people. We the people. And we must stand up to them. So everything that they have going on. To every to every to every capitulation of lie that they tell, to every to every thing that they try to cover up. Isn't it funny? Exactly right, exactly the time that there's a vial, that's a smallpox vial missing from another lab. Right here they go again. Right, a vial missing. Vials don't got legs, ladies and gentlemen. They don't pick up and walk away. Now we'll have an outbreak of that. And then, and then they'll be like, oh, we got something else for you. Come come get another. It's, they don't never stop, man. We're going to have to stand together. Red, yellow, black, and white. We're going to have to stand together. We the people are going to have to stand together. And demand the justice be served. On behalf of we the people. Towards these criminals. Chop off the heads. And burn the bodies. Sounds very violent. But it's very literal. And it's very. Uh, 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 sensible. For anybody that would be doing anything like this. Against. Humanity. That's exactly. What they deserve. All right, family, we'll continue to grow. We'll continue to meditate. We'll continue to sing good vibes and our condolences. We'll continue to uh, bring uh, information that we know about, such things that we hear uh, hear about, and we will keep treating you to try to help our people to stay awoke, afloat, aware. Okay? I want... We the people to understand it, and I want to. I want to have a small. I'm have a small conversation before I go with my community. As an as a man of a melanated man of African descent, 
right? A, a, a man with, with Indian blood in him, with Native American Indian blood in him. I just want to tell you guys that we have been hoodwinked. Brother Malcolm X spoke of the 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 the, the hoodwink and the the shambles and how we fall for things within the media and within our parties uh talking about uh you know our our left wing right when the people some people don't know what the left wing is we're talking about those democrats those demon cracks okay that's what they are okay these people are responsible for starting the kkk these people would not let uh, uh the first black men that were that were senators were all republicans because the democrats would not let them be um would not let them be uh senators not only that they would the democrats would go uh this is a little this is a teachable moment the democrats would actually when 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 the, when the south would go to vote when they said all men could vote black men stood in line to vote and the democrats were were running the voter registrations back then this is why you talk about fraud voter re registration out here they say that, that, that when 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 they brought that up these guys have been doing this this for years this is not the first time they done this they the, the black men were standing in line these 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 men found out what they were voting for and, and what what they what they what they believed in they were believing in the republican party because they were blacks they were black republican senators at the time you know what these guys did they said well you got to come up here and you got to uh you got to write your name and if you can't spell your name you know you can't you can't you can't vote so a lot of black men went home because they couldn't spell their, their name but there were there were caucasian men in line who were making an X. I mean, in other words, they couldn't write their name either. They could vote. So then there was a there was a black teacher, a female black teacher, who taught black men how to write their name, right? So they got in line again and went back the next year and tried to vote again. And they switched them. They said, Well, how many senators are there? And how many, how many uh, you know, you know, this or that? They start asking questions. How many senators? How many, you know, how many uh states are there? How many this? And they start giving them tests. And so even if these guys could write their name, they would give them tests to try to try to, to, to purposely make them fail to so saying that they couldn't vote again. So guess what? Those black men went back to the to the female teacher. Shout out to the black teachers, the black female teacher. She, they went back to the teacher and learned this these different things to try to vote. These people have been trying to stop us from voting for years. And then when we finally got the power to vote and they couldn't stop us, then they said, well, we're going to make the we're going we're going to tell everybody that the right wing of, of, of the of the of the uh of, of, of voting are all prejudiced they're all prejudiced people and that would be the republicans now here's the problem there have been some prejudiced republicans before but there's been some prejudiced democrats before but see whoever who he who calls someone else out on some shit before they get before you can get caught on it then that's what you believe that the arl are so if I'm something, all I got to do is look at the other person and call them that. So if I'm broke, right, all I got to do is look at somebody else in the club and say, man, look at you broke. You ain't got no money, you broke. So then everybody's laughing at him and I'm broke too. We get on social media talking about, yeah, Donald Trump's racist and we don't, but we don't, we, but we refuse to believe that Joe Biden is the guy who just called Sasha Page a good nigger, a Negro. His whole mentality is racist. Oh, he was a good Negro. Who talks like that in 2022? Almost. Who talks like that, right? We in November, right? Who talks like that? This guy is out of touch with people, with humanity, with, 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 with Americans, with, 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 with poor Americans. He's lying about the taxes, right? They, they, let me tell you something. Don't you know the inflation is nothing but a, a tax hiked? So all of that stimulus check that y'all was running around talking about, yeah, they're giving us stimulus money, man. We got stimulus money. Man. They took it right back by, by charging you $5 for gas, $5 for milk, $20 for a pack of wings, 50 bucks for two steaks. You thought you were getting over. You thought that you thought that your merit, you thought your government was actually doing something for you when in reality they was it was putting six stones in one in one of your hand, and while you was counting those stones, they was taking six out of the other. These people don't care about us. And I suggest to say that is on both sides of the party. But we're too busy sleeping and listening to celebrities who do not choose for us, we the people, how we vote. Until black people grow up and stop listening to people in our community who, don't, who are not even in our community, get money and move on. 
Okay, because let me tell you something. Celebrities would not have to tell us how to vote if they were. If they, let me tell you what they would do. Not necessarily tell us how to vote. Why don't the celebrities get together and do for their community if they can get up and, and say who to vote for, right? And and like they're trying to help us out with our with our life and who's going to be better for us, right? What what's better for us is that we need financial security. So why don't celebrities get together and open businesses and hire black people, right? But every four years they'll tell you how to vote. I'm not saying that we don't have that we don't love people that that have talent and gifts and that get you know. But I have I don't know nobody. I just, I'm 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 a, I'm I'm close to 50 years old and I can't tell you one person I know that has a decent record deal or ever had a decent one. If they didn't fuck you in the deal that you got the record deal that you got, then they fucked you in life. Like basically when you were walking around being successful and you you signed a decent contract because your parents might have had understanding of record deals or you had lawyers that understood the music contracts. And so you got a decent deal like Whitney Houston. Then what they did was they watched you walk around on drugs and they and nobody said anything. Nobody did anything to you or did anything for you. Nobody gave you the rehab. Nobody helped you. You know what I'm saying? And then all of a sudden, oh, you just end up dead in a hotel where all of the celebrities are at and where all of the all artists at and where you, even your boss from the executive of the record label is at that particular night. Right. Right? And then all your money is left to your daughter and all your assets and everything that you, you put up, got a wheel. You make sure you got a wheel. That so she gets everything, right? And then months, you know, you know, then what happens? We don't even have to, we don't even need to even go into what happens after that, right? Then she ends up, you know, passing away or dying the same way. And nobody has anything to say. There's no that's this this is a conspiracy theory. Still want to be an artist? Still want to be a rapper? Still want to be a singer? See how they do us? We're nothing but pawns to them. And what you don't know is this is this is this is you and your 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 Caucasian neighbor, your Caucasian friend, your mate, right? The one that works next to you at the job that you hardly talk to. You don't really, you know, particularly get along with white people or Caucasian people, you don't have a relationship with them, they're nothing but pawns to them too. And until red, yellow, and white, black and white come together and stop, and because guess, guess, guess what? These people are the ones who have divided us. We believe what they told us over the year. Caucasian people have believed the stereotypes about black people. Black people believe that white people, some people, it's some black people in the hood that believe that all white people are the same. That they don't like us, they don't, they, they all racist towards us. And that's not true. There are good people in every race, in every creed, in every color. But we have some criminals, some elite criminals, some puppet celebrities. OK, and some antagonistic. Uh, 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 round up gang related politicians that all need to be taken down. And we need to clip the strings of our of our of our of our celebrities and how they become celebrities. Shout out to uh, Kwame Brown. He said the other day, I was watching his live. He said, he says, celebrities aren't born, they're made. Stars aren't born, they're made. But I agree with him under under that position of them of these people choosing and picking who they make celebrities. But the truth of the matter is, there are people that are talented that are already stars when they're born and they'll put it on become get to, get to become stars or celebrities unless they get down with the get down some people sometimes you can slide through and become one and then once you become one you're loathe and hate it because of how they treat you and how they do you ain't that right miss lauren hill one of our most talented stars ever and how many albums has she put out since then since she got the notion of how they are mr brown said he shut his mouth he put his mama on a golf course he shut his mouth and played ball he could see it too it's time, it's time, it's time and time to clip the, the strings of the of our puppets, of our celebrities, of our stars. They do not need they do not to be stringed along or strung along. It's time for our community to start loving each loving on each other and being there for each other. It's time for us to start standing up as we the people, red, yellow, black, and white, and 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 putting these politicians out to pasture. Out to pasture. It's time to take these elites that's running around here thinking they celebrities too. 
and all in our and talking about they are philanthropists and, and activists and they care about the people, but they constantly are uh, in in labs and Wuhan labs and investing their money in in uh in uh fake meat and all this okay now. It's time to have justice and play uh let them play a game of Russian roulette with themselves. Justice must be served. With all this plant life in the room that I stand in right now, we should be talking about each and one, every one of variations of what we have and watering them. And I have to stand here amongst my people of all creeds and colors and talk about life and death and how people that are in our country People that call themselves Americans use it as a pawn, as a distraction. They can take life as easy as a child can open up a piece of wrapped up candy and put it in their mouth and walk away like it's nothing. Do not allow these people to distract you. Continue to mourn your losses for your loved ones, your friends and your families. But remember that we are in a war amongst these people. All right, family. This is the Conscious Growing Gardener channel. This channel is small. So do me a favor. OK, do me a favor. In fact, do me do me three favors. OK. It's not going to cost you any money. I want you to subscribe to the channel. I want you to like this video. And then I want you to share it. Okay. Peace and light and grow.